Now, scientists at the New York Genome Center and New York University have developed a genetic screening platform to identify genes that can enhance immune cells to make them more persistent and increase their ability to eradicate tumor cells. In the journal Nature, the researchers describe the discovery of synthetic gene programs that profoundly rewire a specific kind of immune cell called T-cells, making them more effective at finding and fighting cancer cells. The research team, led by Neville Sanjana, Ph.D., core faculty member at the New York Genome Center, assistant professor of biology at New York University, an assistant professor of neuroscience and physiology at NYU Grossman School of Medicine, profiled the impact of nearly 12,000 different genes I. The goal of this large-scale genetic screen was to identify precisely those genes that enable T cells to proliferate and to understand how those genes impact other aspects of immune cell function relevant to fighting cancer. Previous efforts to engineer T cells have focused on the targeting of specific tumor types by careful selection of cancer or tissue specific proteins, antigens. Since first developed more than 30 years ago, chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, T cell therapy has proven highly effective in targeting blood cancer cells, resulting in multiple FDA approved CAR T therapies. CAR T cells have antigen receptors on their surface that recognize specific proteins present on cancer cells to target and destroy them. Some patients are cancer-free even a decade after their CAR T cell therapy, as the T cells introduced years earlier are still doing their job. One particular modifier gene Lymphotoxin beta receptor, LTBR, acts like a molecular fountain of youth. With LTBR, T cells multiply, have a greater proportion of younger, more stem cell like cells, and resist becoming exhausted over time. Interestingly, LTBR is not normally expressed in T cells, which highlights the power of the genome scale screen to find genes that activate completely new cellular programs. Our goal was to take existing immunotherapies and make them better. We were astonished that LTBR so significantly potentiates CAR therapies. It is an important step forward towards the development of next-generation CAR T-cell therapy, said the study's first author Mateusz Legu, Ph.D., a postdoctoral fellow in the Sanjana lab. The team was able to quickly understand the effects of LTBR and similar modifier genes by combining gene overexpression screens with single-cell genomics. The new method that they developed, Oversight SEQ, allowed the researchers to test the impact of different modifier genes on the cellular states of T-cells, which includes the expression of every gene, the proteins decorating the cell surface, and the unique T-cell receptors expressed by each cell. If validated in vitro and in clinical testing, this may have profound implication for future CAR T-cell therapies in both lymphoid malignancies and other cancers, said study co-author Catherine Diefenbach, MD, an associate professor in the Department of Medicine at the Grossman NYU School of Medic. The team also combined several top-ranked genetic modifiers with CARs similar to two existing FDA-approved therapies for blood cancers, Tizagen Leclusal, Kimraya, and Axicaptogen Sololusal, Yescarta. Virtually all modifiers tested boosted CAR T responses, including LTBR. Since T-cells from cancer patients tend to be in poor condition compared to T-cells from healthy donors, the researchers wanted to also test LTBR's ability to rejuvenate cancer patient T-cells. Those results are encouraging not only to develop a larger panel of enhanced CAR T-therapies for blood cancers, 
but for the key role they could play in targeting solid tumors, a field in which establishing efficient CAR T immunotherapy has been more challenging. In addition to doctors, Legu, Diefenbach and Sanjana, the research team included co-authors from the Sanjana Lab, the NYGC Technology Innovation Lab, and the lab of Teresa Davoli, Ph.D., at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine. The Sanjana Lab has been focused on developing new gene editing and functional genomic technologies to reduce the high failure of current immunotherapies and build next-generation therapeutics. Video. Vimeo.com slash 687951684 Mateusz Legu, Zoran Gajic, Maria Guarino, Zarko Danilowski, Jahan A. Rahman, Shin Shui, Kanji Lu, Lu Lu, Eleni P. Mimito, Stephanie Howe, Teresa Davoli, Catherine Diefenbach, Peter Smibert, Neville E. Sanjana. A genome scale screen for synthetic drivers of T cell proliferation. Nature, 2022. DOI 10 1038 per second 41586 022 04494 7 New York Genome Center. Programming the immune system to supercharge cancer cell therapies. Genome wide approaches to engineer more effective anti cancer immunotherapy. Science Daily. HTTPS colon slash slash ift. TT, LJIGWZO, accessed March 16, 2022. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.